Okay, so here's a sample of the alert and the information it contains. I also have this available in a PDF if you'd like to see it that way as well. So we start out up here by showing you the symbol I'm trading and the kind of strategy I'm using. So in this case it's QQQ and I'll be doing a short call vertical. Next, I'm going to give you the reasoning behind the trade briefly on this line here. Below that, we're going to show you the IV rank or the implied volatility rank and DTE, which is days to expiration, so you know which option expiration cycle I'm using. The line below this, you'll either see credit greater than or equal to or debit less than or equal to. That's my range. It'll be the minimum amount I'm willing to sell this strategy for and collect, or if it's a debit, it's the most I will pay for this particular trade. Going down to the actual trade page here, you'll see again a repeat of the first line, which is QQQ, and I'm selling the call vertical. The next line here gives you all the details of the trade. You'll see right here it says sell and buy. Over here it tells you the strike prices that you're selling and buying. And right here it shows C for call or P if it's a put. So you'll see I'll be selling the 173 call, buying the 175 call in this case. And also on this line you'll see the quantity involved. In this case I'm just doing one option. And right here is the expiration cycle, the March with 43 days in it. Over here you'll see the maximum profit I can make on this trade and also the maximum I can lose on this trade which is really handy and also if you read the little fine print under here you'll see that this shows you the break-even price and it'll give you instructions whether being above this price or below this price makes you a winning trade or a losing trade and finally if we go down to the bottom here you'll see POP 66 percent POP means probability of profit which means my chance of this trade being profitable at expiration. So if I leave this trade to expiration, there's a 66% chance that it's profitable. And right here, you'll see the price that I did the trade at, which isn't always the same as the price up here, my minimums and maximums. So that's just the minimum and maximum I'm willing to do something for. Down here is the actual price I did the trade for myself. And that's the alert.